Hello and welcome guys to another video of First Fruit and Chaos and this time it's a tutorial actually guys. I will show you guys how to win actually every game if you make it right. But there is no actually a really good ingredient that you can put in that you can win every game. It's just it depends on so many things. Your teammates and your enemies everything. And the first thing is actually that if you're leveling up, that you're not wasting all the money, all the money to buy new heroes. Actually, I know there are many heroes, and everyone wants to buy all those heroes, and some of them are really strong. But every hero is actually really strong. You just need to know which talents you should use. Like if you go to the profile, there are the talents. Many people don't know it actually. I saw, I see many people. I think what the fuck, man? Are they even using talents or something? You need to go to profile, guys. Here you can see it. Here is the profile. Click on it, and then there is the talents in the right up there. You can see Fighter Mage, Support, Guardian in red, blue, green, and yellow. Click on Edit. Then you can choose between talent pages. Like at first, I think you will have only one talent page. I think the first two are free. I think it was like this. I don't know how it is right now, because after the update they changed a lot that you need even to buy the tablet pages. Like every single tablet page it was like you're unlocking one tablet page and you have three tablet places where you can place your tablet but it's not possible anymore and here you can unlock up to seven like i have already three like one for factor two for mage and the three is my special build for cartoon actually but i don't know if it will work out still but it was really cool because i was really tough with cartoon with this build it was really amazing and yeah, the first thing is actually if you're playing a factor, unlock all talent pages for factors. I know it's really expensive. The first page is 750, then the second is I think 1800, then not 1800, 9000, then I think like it is over, over like it is over 20,000 to unlock everything from factor. For example, it's really, it's really expensive, I know, but guys, you need to go through that. Like, if you're leveling up, every time you level up, don't forget to put talent points in your skill tree, because you need it, guys. Otherwise, you're too weak. Even if you have the most expensive hero, if you don't have any talents, you're not able to win without good teammates that have talents. Like, really, you need this. Like, that's the, that's the key to win, actually, every match if you're playing good. But if you play good and you don't have the talents, the right talents, you're not able to win. Like that's what I wanted to say guys. And there are many cases like you're playing against bad heroes or whatever and yeah, you can can just play like uh what what I should say? You can just play around and stuff like and you can just get a triple or something. You can, you can get kills, but the enemies are really bad and in this case it's a free win actually. But if you play against really hard enemies, then there are actually many possibilities where you can start a comeback. You can wait till they destroy your first tower. If the first tower is destroyed, you just need to stay in your base and defend. Really guys, nothing else than defend. I know it will get boring and you will say to yourself, come on, I wanna push, I wanna fight with the enemies, but it is too early. Like, if they have a level advantage, at least two or three level advantages against you, then you need to stay in your safe base behind the towers and wait till they push the towers or just farm the soldiers. The safest way is just farm the soldiers, guys. Sometimes it's even better to let them kill the Mogul or something on a 3 versus 3 map. Because it's really dangerous to gank them there if they have a really high level advantage. But if you are able to steal the Magul with the ult from Newt or something else, like the ult from Carly Q, then go for it. Then you can steal it, try to steal it. If you have eyes or something if the enemy is not realizing it, then you can steal the Magul. Then you have an advantage against them again. But if not, just stay in your base and defend, kill soldiers and get the money. Because if they destroy the tower too early, you are able to defend and start a comeback, but you, you need to know how to do this. You need good teammates, like if you have a cat actually, it's the best hero to stay in your base and defend. Because you can pull the enemies inside and the enemies will not go into your tower because they are too afraid of the cat pull. Because they know the cat will pull them inside and they will get killed and the cat will get free money and free 
level up, free experience, everything. Like I said, you need to defend and then after you get a little bit of an advantage and you know that the enemy is no danger for you, then you can push, you can start pushing after you killed all of them again and then you see they have a cooldown that they are not able to respawn, then just push towards their tower and try to destroy as many towers as possible. But if you see they revived, then you need to teleport back. But if you see there are only one guy from them revived himself, then try to push as far as you can still with teammates, like say your tank that he's taunting the enemy or whatever, that you can destroy the towers with the soldiers, then you can destroy the second tower and even maybe the third tower. But if you see they all three revived, better you need to go back and every time, as I can say, you need to look in the left corner, not on your screen where your hero, hero picture is under that. There is showing the time if the hero is alive or not. If he's dead, there's a cooldown. If the hero is alive, then there is no cooldown anymore. There you can see that the enemy is alive and you need to go back. It's really important to look on that. And on the opposite side, if you are the enemy, I would recommend that you're not destroying the tower too early. Because I see many people that are destroying the tower too early. In my case, I played one game. And we had a really big advantage because we were 3 versus 2, but my idiot team, they just pushed the tower so early. The enemy were a 12p and a Kagax. And you know early game the Kagax is a joke actually, a 12p too. But late game, oh my god, it was impossible. They were 2 and we were 3. I played with Gallus, we had an Ari and a Cat in my team. The Cat was actually pretty bad, the pulls were really bad. And the Ari, I don't know what she did, but... We're actually fine, we pushed the tower and stuff, but too early, the, the Arya destroyed the tower too early. And then I know, oh my god, I hope this will end well. We tried to push the towers, but they were already level 6, Kagax came from the jungle level 6, and then they just defended, 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 they killed us every time with Kagax and 12 beast towns, and we had no chance, guys, we lost 2 versus 3. Like with, with that strategy, defending, you can win 2 versus 3 matches if the enemy has no tank. If the enemy has a tank, then this will be hard. But if the enemy has no tank, only mage and fighters, then it's pretty easy actually. If, uh, if you have only one tank and one fighter in your team, or one tank on, and one mage that can deal a lot of damage, then it's pretty easy actually. Yeah, that's what I should say, what I was talking about more, like the talents. And yeah, the tablets are actually also really important, like if you have the money guys, as I say, don't buy heroes with the money if you're a new player. Go for the talents, <coughs> talent pages first, then go for the tablets. Like here you can see I have already 4 tablet pages. Oh my god, I spent a lot of money for this. Like not real money, just emblems. Cause it's just insane. Like I have a lot of tablets here. Like all of them, almost all of them are inactivated. Cause I use some of them and then I don't use them. But sometimes when I need them, I can activate it again to like change the tablets and stuff. Like some tablets I have twice, like you can see here, the Courage tablet, I have it twice. And yeah, some other tablets, like some useless tablets, some tablets that I used for fun, like the tablet of retribution, like if you die, you're exploding. Oh my god, I just made a kamikaze setup. And here's the 10% tablet that I used earlier in the game when it was really OP, but I'm never using this again actually. Like rarely I'm using it, rarely. And yeah, that is my tip for you guys to win every match actually. And for a good team setup, you need every time one tank at least. One. One mage and one fighter. Because, like, you can put the mage away if you have a mage tank. Then you can put one tank. Like in my ranking match, you saw I played Arafan, it was a mage tank. And Junkaru played another tank, 12p. And my friend Sugar Daddy, he played Arya. It was amazing, like we had no mage, but I I was like a little bit, I, I had magical attack and I was a tank actually, but that was enough. But for a good setup, if you are really strict, then go for one mage, one tank and one fighter. And every time, who is the one with the range goes mid, every time, who is range attacked or uh, what's the situation, like if you have Ari in your team, you need to let her go mid. Because it's better for her and if you are a mage then you need to go bot. Every time if you have a ranged factor, the factor needs to go mid. And if you have a ranged mage and a, a melee factor, then the melee factor needs to go bot and the ranged mage needs to go mid. And the tank is every time going top or bot. It depends on the situation what kind of tanks you have. Like I was Aerofan with my heal, I was really good at bot in this, in this ranking match. and. 
Junkaro was 12p and he got to, uh, top because without his level 6 he can't do anything and he wasn't able to support his teammate. And every time, don't forget it, play bot the hero that can support the mid. Like with my heal with Aerophon in this ranking match I was able to support the mid, that's why I got bot, like remind that. If you have a hero that can gank the mid or help the mid, then go bot with that hero. But if you see your hero isn't able to help the mid at all, then go bot level up to level 6, then go join your team and help them. It's the same with Helm Slugfizz actually. I think Helm Slugfizz is actually a pretty good bot player, because you can gank your enemy in the mid, because you have a almost 10 meter rush and your hammer, and you can gank them really easy and you can heal your teammate. But many people are going top, I think it's pretty wrong actually. But whatever, it, it depends like how you play it and how you wanna do it. But that's my tip for you guys and I hope it will help you. And I don't wanna uh, make this video too long. That That's just my short tip and I'm sorry that is not a gameplay. But I saw there are many people have no clue how to play this game. But this is, this is my tip for you. Now, the, the, <laughs> okay. the tip number one is don't buy a hero if you have enough money. Spend the money more for like talent pages and tablets if you have if you are a new player like the emblems that are that is the uh, currency in this game emblems and runes the blue one is runes and the yellow one is emblems romantic guide not romantic guys not gold emblems in the game in game that gold that you receive per second that is gold in the game where you have where you are in the main menu that is emblems Whatever, like keep that money and buy talents and tablets if you're a new player. And the next thing is that every time remind that, every time, it's really important. Never push too early guys, never. Unless you are 100% sure that the enemy is not able to win, unless that. But try to only last it the soldiers and never push too hard. Like in some of my gameplays you can see I am also pushing too hard, but Sometimes I'm playing some kind of heroes that I know it's 100% uh, sure that I'm not going to lose this match But sometimes it's really it really depends on your teams like if your team is feeding the whole time then even the best player can't do anything Yeah, only if the enemies are also really bad then you can do something But otherwise you have no chance actually really but If the enemies push too early like I said the fans stay in your base and then try to make a comeback like sometimes it's really good to play some heroes where you can start a comeback like if you have a setup with cat and you can pull with cat really good play cat if you know if the enemy is destroying your tower then just stay in your base and try to get really good pulls and the enemy will just feed you or play like a tank volox it's really good guys if the enemy destroys your first tower you can just pull the volox the enemy the whole way inside your base and that sh and then just knock him back that he's just standing still there for 1.5 seconds then it's impossible to get away from him actually. Even if he makes himself invisible, the towers can see him. Only chance to get away is actually to blink, but he needs to blink really fast away. And he needs to blink the right way, otherwise he will die. And yeah, the third thing is... For you, don't push too early. Like, those two things are really important actually. If you're playing, don't push too early, otherwise... You will end like this enemy team, like you will end, how I should describe it, like don't push too early and if the enemy has to push too early you should defend and if you push too early then it's bad for you if the enemy is just defending. Yeah, if, if you just too push too early then actually there is no chance if the enemy is really good and they are just standing in your base and farming soldiers. If you push too early, there is one way where you can win. If you push too early, then you need to destroy the towers as fast as possible and push. Still push, guys. Never just return back or go into the jungle to farm because you're giving the enemy time to farm more soldiers and get more money and like buy better items. That's really important, guys. If you push too early and you realize, oh my god, my teammate destroyed the tower, we need to push. We must kill the enemies and don't let them farm soldiers like attack them like don't go under the tower but make them under the tower like attack him with ranged attacks that they get low health to get back to their base and heal themselves so you have time to attack the tower or if you're playing Arya with your third skill you can activate your range that you have 11 meters range so you can attack the towers in safe distance that is really important and yeah that's it guys 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Like for the pro players, I think all pro players know those tactics, tactics, so they don't listen to this video maybe. But whatever for the new players, this is a tutorial. And for the new players, I will just say this game is actually really good, but the problem is there are some lags, and I don't know. Uh, like the lags depends on your device, on your internet connection, like you can't only blame the game actually because it really depends on your device and with what internet connection you're playing and where do you live, like you can have the best internet connection but if you have a home that isn't allowing you to, you, you to get the good internet connection like this Wi-Fi signal needs to receive a signal from somewhere else that you get the internet connection actually like if you have a really bad connectivity in your home then yeah, then it's just bad, then you just need to move and go somewhere else to a new flat or whatever, I don't know. But yeah. But sometimes it's really about game of, like sometimes they make updates that's just too much for this game. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode and liked it. And I hope it will help you to get a little bit better and know the game a little bit better, the strategy and everything. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.